The Make Noise Still Harmonic is a digital sound source module programmed by Tom Erb of Soundhack fame. It contains three different classic synthesis algorithms from the 1890s through the 1980s, presented on one or two very simple controls, and all three algorithms run at the same time, each with a dedicated output. That means there's no menu diving or mode switching. You can always have access to all three algorithms. The module's divided into two sections, the sound generation section on the right and the pitch selection section on the left. Part of the reason the pitch is so involved is that two of the three algorithms can actually play three notes at once. So this allows you to select what those three notes are without having three separate control voltage inputs. So far, sounds pretty good, huh? However, if you're the type of person who gets a module, throws it into your case, patches it in, and tries to start fiddling with it without first consulting the manual, well, you might get something like this. You try to change some of these controls. And you just, it seems like it's an impenetrable module. You have no idea what to do with it. And you say, well, let's try some different algorithms. And that doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> well, take a deep breath, slow down, and let's set up the module for exploration. This is what I do to initialize a module before I start playing around with it. First, let's set up the sound side to create as pure a tone as possible. Right now I'm plugged into the N or noise algorithm output. I'm gonna to go to the far right for the phase modulation output. For all three algorithms, the flux control kind of sets how pure or how broadband the sound is. Turning flux full clockwise will give you your purest signal. And you can see how the data changed from a noisy looking waveform to something that's a bit more of a sine wave. For two of the three algorithms, centroid also affects the sound. It's much harder to generalize what it does, but I tend to put it to the far left or counterclockwise just to start out. Okay, now let's tackle the pitch section. Tonic is basically your master pitch control. The teleharmonic only takes positive voltages, zero to six volts to determine its pitch. That zero to six volt range is the addition of what comes into the tonic input, the one volt per octave, and the voltage selected by this knob, which has a plus or minus three volt or plus or minus three octave range. If you have the type of keyboard controller that generates only positive voltages, zero on up, I'd set tonic full counterclockwise. That'll give you its lowest pitch at zero volts. It's a C1 and then you can play up from there. My systems are based on having middle C be zero volts with both negative and positive voltages. In that case, I found putting tonic at 12 o'clock, so the zero volts will give me middle C, works best for me personally. Degree is a semitone offset. I put that up, up at 12 o'clock, and then interval is what to do with that three note spread, what sort of triads, octaves, et cetera, to form. Somewhere around three o'clock is unison. So let's go ahead, put this towards three. It's a very touchy control, but there we go. Now you can tune it to another oscillator, like on my Moog. I'll change the mix. Bit out of tune here. By the way, tonic is very touchy since there is no fine tune control. You can do this by ear, or you can go ahead and use a tuner. Sometimes I'll use the tuner section on data. And let's go ahead and get make noise teleharmonic right at that C. Whoops, I touched the interval here. Gotta be careful what I'm doing. Pretty darn close. Okay, now we have a nice predictable starting point. I will go back to my oscilloscope, and now I have what looks like a nice, simple sine wave. We'll discuss this music theory section in more detail towards the end. Let's take a quick overview of the sound generation section. Again, there's two controls, flux and centroid. Flux, you can think of it as a focusing on whether or not you're focusing on one harmonic or multiple harmonics. When flux is detuned towards the counterclockwise direction, Centroid can give you more variations.
Centroid has an antenna inverter. It can go minus and positive. Flux is kind of funny. When there's nothing plugged into the flux jack, this is your control. When you do plug something into flux, this becomes an attenuator. Flux only takes positive voltages and fairly slowly changing ones. You can't really do FM to the flux, but you can do FM to the centroid down here. We'll dive into these more as we play with the individual algorithms. There is a separate H lock or harmonic lock that only comes in handy when you're on the H or harmonic algorithm. And again, I'll look at that later as well. Anyway, now that we have the telharmonic initialized, it's much easier to explore its different synthesis algorithms, such as phase modulation, sort of a tame version of FM. <laughs> harmonic synthesis, which is a version of additive synthesis. Easy to keep touching things like degree accidentally. Fortunately, it's quantized to semitones. And finally, noise synthesis, which gives you the ability to create pitched or unpitched noise. Let's dive into these individual sound generation algorithms.